This is Tim Apicella with Think Tech Hawaii. What's on your mind, Hawaii? I'm here with Kay from Australia, and Kay, you got a text about an hour and a half ago saying that incoming ballistic missiles were coming in, and this was not a drill. What were your first thoughts? Uh, wait for the message to say that it wasn't a drill, that it, you know that it wasn't real. So I had another cup of coffee, and I waited, and I waited 38 minutes, and where do you run to anyway? Where's the shelters in Hawaii? Did the hotel make an announcement eventually? No, no. Well, they did, they did make an announcement out in the general area, but we couldn't hear it in our room, yeah. So your first response was to have another cup of coffee? <laughs> have another cup of coffee and wait for the message to say that it, it wasn't real. Did any friends or did you call any friends or family? No, no. I thought 15 minutes, boom. <laughs> Haven't got time to even get dressed and go down and get in the water. Did you feel at all a, a sense of heightened alert or slight panic or yeah. concern? Well, I was a little worried. I told my husband to get dressed. Better to die in your clothes. <laughs> Similar to what your mom says about underwear, in case there's a fire, right? Yeah, in case you get hit by a bus. <laughs> well, I've... With the Australians I've interviewed so far, they seem to take it in stride and, and basically adopt the attitude that what will be will be. Yeah, well, you know, where can you go in 15 minutes, like I said, you know. Does this kind of, um, how does it make you feel about our state emergency management system putting on a false drill like this? Well, I guess you need, you need it. You know, we have to have these things, so they've got to test it. I think they just should have said somewhere in the message that it was a test. Well, they did say it is not a drill. Yeah, they said it's not a drill, but at, at no stage did it have the word test in there in brackets or something so that you could, you know, I just worry that someone like Donald Trump might press the button and blow Kim Jong-un <laughs> out of the water. So you think the President of the United States could have reacted to this, this information abruptly and started something that wasn't there meant to start in the first place? Well, maybe not other presidents, but this president is, yeah, I did worry about that. So you don't think he acts with a steady hand? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Sorry, no. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people share that thought. Um, the bottom line is, how's it going to affect your day? Not at all. I'm about to go shopping. So enjoy beautiful Hawaii. When the going gets rough, the rough goes shopping? That's it. That's it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I, I commend your spirit and your, your, your fortitude, and I uh, wish you a very nice remaining of your holiday. Thank you very much. Aloha. This is Tim Apicella, Think Tech Hawaii.